All right, so if you've got a bad um, thumbstick and it's starting to act erratically or just doesn't work or you get a lot of drift, um, what you need to do is get one of these. Um, they can go anywhere from like a couple of bucks each, five, six bucks each, plus the shipping or you can buy them in bulk. I don't really know how much I paid for these, but um, this is a PS4 controller. And you basically need to um, desolder here, 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 and here. Those are ground points. And then you have these contact points here for the stick itself. Um, that's your X and Y axis on that stick. And then these four points, which are the um, action of pushing the button down, like the L3, R3, right stick, left stick, depending on which it is. Now, the sticks in the PlayStation controllers are the same sticks, um, component-wise, that are in the Xbox One controllers. So what I'm going to do is, um, this is one of my modded PS4 controllers. I'm going to go ahead and desolder all this um, using a regular soldering iron and a desoldering pump. So you just push that in, and then you get it all hot. And then you do this, and it sucks out the solder. And then um, I get that off of there and then solder a new one on, and uh, we'll get to testing it. All right, so we got it. This is a bitch to do. It took like an hour because the solder points on here are um, lead-free solder. So I had to crank my soldering iron up to like almost 900 plus degrees Fahrenheit just to get the solder to melt right. I went through half a, a roll of uh, desoldering braid. Um, I ended up melting the tip of my desoldering pen. You can see it a little bit messed up there. Just trying to get it through. I would use a hairpin um, needle point on my soldering iron to push some of the things through and then even in the end it wouldn't come through so I ended up just fucking hacking the thing apart um, but I got the new one on there um, it's on it works pretty well um, as far as I can tell there I'm just uh, you know waiting for the hot glue gun to get up the temp again so I can get this uh, glue point remelted so there's no stress on the joints solder joints here that's really important on the PlayStation controllers especially um, and then once I do that we'll um, you know we'll made it back up to um, this hard red plastic shell it came from China so um, the one that I painted red had some issues so um, you know I just ordered that one and uh, this should get everything up and running again so yeah uh, just in recap you need to desolder these um, four ground points um, six for the axis here and here um, four for the switch and uh, that should get you on the way it can only go in one way so you can't really put them in wrong um, all right well we'll see how this goes thanks guys all right <clears throat> and this is the same thing on an Xbox one uh, controller this is the left stick since this is the bottom of the board um, you've got the same uh, one two three four ground points same force for the uh, stick pushing down then you've got uh, one two three four five six for the XY axis as well so this is one that I've actually just been um, desoldering and it's it's on its way out there's a couple of uh, solder points that are just being um, you know a little stubborn um, that I'm I'm working on but as you can see on the other side here, uh, I've kind of already got it started. So it's just a matter of, um, you know, getting these last couple uh, solder points out. And then this stick will come off and then grab another one of these, put it on there, and uh, this guy will be good to go. So when you get it off, that's what it'll look like. It's basically just, you know, the same thing on the bottom. Um, and this normally will just snap down in there. So, you know, we would take um, this now. And uh, the pins usually come pretty bent, like you can see here. So I'll need to bend those back and then get this guy in there and uh, solder it down with some, some fresh rosin core lead solder. Um, that lead free stuff sucks because you get to turn your soldering iron up to like 480 degrees Celsius um, just to get it to melt properly. So that's about that.